Yes, yes, everybody. What's good? It's your boy, Big Nick here. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. And as always, I'm back to react to more music from everywhere around the world. Today, we are going to be traveling to the UK. Well, we're going to stick to the UK, rather. My country, where we'll be reacting to an artist we are very, very familiar with already. We've reacted to quite a few of his songs, but there's still so much more I need to check out of his. And he goes by the name of Ren. Now, I'll leave a playlist up here for you to go check out the reactions I've done to his, if you haven't already. If you have, God bless you. I'm sure that means you're a fellow subscriber, a fellow Nickster. But if you're new to this channel, welcome. And I hope you enjoy this reaction. And I hope you check out the channel and become a fellow subscriber, just like the rest of my Nicksters. Which, by the way, shout out to all of them, because they are such loyal supporters. I always say this, and I always will. I can't do this without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you. Now, I believe Ren's doing one of his mashups here. This song isn't too old, it was released uh, just at the end of February, so it's just over a month old. So it's more of one of his new ones, we've checked out a lot of his older stuff, but I've been suggested this a few times recently, so I thought, come on then, let's go check this out, as we haven't reacted to him in a while now, so it's time to go back and check out some more Ren. Now it's a mashup of a song called Back On 74, which I believe is by a band called Jungle, a British group, slash Message in the Bottle. Now, I'm not too sure who that one's by. I'm not too sure if I've heard it, but we'll soon find out anyway. Comment and let me know if you know who that's by. That is, if I don't pick up what the song is halfway through and recognise it. But you know what I love about these mashups as well? He'll title like some of the main songs in there, but he'll throw some of his own stuff in there as well, or he'll throw another song in there, like a surprise song. So I'm not too sure what to expect. These mashups are always brilliant. This is when Ren sings his heart out. Well, I hope he does. I love it when Ren sings his heart out. The thumbnail, he's got a guitar in his hand, so I know he's going to do some great guitar work because he's brilliant on the guitar. You know what? In fact, Ren's just brilliant on everything. He's one of those multi talented people that can just do anything when it comes to music. Aside from that, though, before I wrap it on and just burn your ears off with me talking, let's get into the video and check this one out, shall we? Got a 70s boy. said it's got that 70s vibe with those backing singers the the whole atmosphere like the red and like the colors and the setting that they're under that soft tone that Ren comes with as well the guitar it's just very it's giving that very 70s vibe I'm guessing that's what back on the 74 means it's like back in the 70s so like it's going to bring that 70s vibe but I love it I love it I love the difference that Ren always brings and he always, always performs superbly. Now, like I said at the start, I'm not too sure what message in the bottle is, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to tell when that kicks in. Besides that, just such a vibe so far. Such a, mm, such a soft but funky vibe, you know? Keep it rocking, doing the same thing. When we get high on the breakdown. When we were watching from the same time. But that don't change what I think now And we were talking about the same ground But we don't hop when it breaks down I learned my lesson at the same time Ooh, 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 ooh where did it go? Back on set I think you Call this place my home ooh, 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 ooh. Never gonna cry 
I just knew there had to be a guitar solo. When it comes to Ren, he always has to showcase. He's, like I said, multi-talented versatility. Like, he is just so superb when it comes to instruments, vocals, rapping, you name it, this guy can do it. And he's like, uh, he's one of my favorite artists, that's for sure. He's definitely one of my favorite artists, probably based on the fact that he's so talented. But not only that, he's just such a laid back character with such a brilliant persona. You know, he's, just, he's a brilliant guy. Yeah, I just knew there was gonna be a guitar solo in there and I loved it. And it was such a short but simple one and yet beautiful. It went well with the kind of song it is. Let's take them back to 174, inherently poor myself on the Talk is secondary, first my specialty, naughty bars on the Rap like nicotine, sound so addicting, click, click, zippo, flip, caddy, daddy, hit the green, soak up dopamine, I mean dope scheme, take more head than the blade of a guillotine, uh, Filipina, you should have seen her, she likes girls but I turn Tina, Angelina, wanna raid her tomb, ocarina, with the Zelda moves, sound so smooth, wax strip groove, don't stay still, wanna make that move, thought for food, colour scheme nude, massive like jungle, shy but rude, and the world is yours, that's a Nas shout out with an awkward pause. Cause the world is flawed when the power makes money and the money makes wars And the world is more than a place in the space on a spinning ball And for now that's all, back to 1974 And like I said, he has to do a little rap in there as well Just to showcase his huge versatility when it comes to music I'm not too sure if that was part of Back on 74's original song But I feel like listening to it, that was a Ren verse that sounded like something Ren would have wrote. So I'm feeling like he's thrown that in there, in the mix. Comment and let me know, am I correct there? Has he just threw that into the mix of what the original song is? I'm not too sure, but I love it anyway. And even if it was part of the original song, I'd probably prefer it coming from Ren. Just because he has that, I don't know, distinguishing voice, distinguishing vocals. I just love. The one thing we all love about Ren is just that distinguishing voice, you know? What can I say? He's just a brilliant artist. Back on 74 Call this place my home Never gonna cry I know this song, I can't think of the artist, I know the song, I knew it straight away as soon as I heard the chords coming in, yes, 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 and there's notes then when he sung, I have to pull it back, pull it back to about here I believe, like I said, I knew those chords as soon as they came in, fantastic song, and you hear Ren's voice then, this is going to be the cherry on the cake, this is the end of the song now, we've only like a minute and 17 left or something like that, so this is definitely the cherry on the cake, 100%, let's go. <laughs> Just a lonely day, an island lost that sea. Another cares to nobody here but me. listen to that and like I said there was a minute and 17 left of this song 
That minute and 17 was the quickest minute I've ever experienced in my life because I enjoyed it so much. I was just mesmerized. I loved that. I absolutely loved that. I will say it's not one of my favorite collaborations of songs that he's done, but it is definitely up there. That was brilliant. I loved the difference, like I said, I loved that 70s vibe. And then I loved the fact that he brought that song in. Do you know what he's really good at? He's really, really good at merging songs together like this. He's so good at it and he chooses the right songs to put together and combine. And sometimes, like most of us would think, that's not gonna go together. Like how could them two songs go together? But Ren, I don't know, the way his head works, it's just magical. It's brilliant. He knows what songs go together, the tempo of each song, the cadence and the rhythm and just how he's able to combine it is just brilliant. It's artistry at its best. I'll say it all the time, Ren is one of the best artists out there. I don't care what no one says, he really is. It's about time. It's been a long time since we had artists like this. To me, I think Ren is one of those artists that you only get once in a few generations. Not, not even in once in a generation, like a few generations. Like, he is a rare artist to come across. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head that is competing with that level of talent. He's super, super, super talented. But not only is that, the versatility that he brings showcases music from modern day back to even the 60s and everything. And it just shows you what an insanely brilliant guy this artist is. I have a lot of respect and love for Ren, 100%. That was brilliant. I still can't think of who Messages in a Bottle was wrote by, that end song. Uh, comment and let me know, remind me, refresh my memory. I'm sure as soon as someone says it, I'm gonna be kicking myself, like, oh yeah, of course. But my mind's just gone blank as who sung that song. So yeah, just comment and let me know, please. Besides that, comment and let me know if you enjoyed this. Comment whatever you want. Uh, I hope you've really enjoyed this, but besides that, we've come to the end of the video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on another episode. Also, if you wish to donate and help towards my channel, I will leave my donation links in the description below along with the original video link. So you can go and check this one out. Apart from that though, it's your boy, Big Nick. Enough love and peace out everyone.